Before we can run any queries against our collection, we have to tell IntelliShell which database we'd like to use. Do this by typing Use Biodata. In IntelliShell, you don't have to execute all statements. If your cursor is to the right of the second command, you can instead execute the statement at the cursor by clicking the appropriate button. You should see a message confirming that IntelliShell has switched to DB Biodata. Press Enter to add a third line to the editor and type the letters D and B followed by a period. IntelliShell should display an auto-completion pop-up window that lists collections and methods available to the current object. You can scroll to any item and then press Enter to add it to your command. For now, let's ensure the BIOS collection is selected and then press Enter. Type another period to launch the pop-up again. Scroll down to the Find method. A message box will appear describing how to use the Find method and examples of its syntax and use. As you can see, the Find method returns documents in a collection. Press Enter to add it to the command. IntelliShell will also add a set of parentheses in which we can insert arguments or criteria to base our Find on. Let's filter based on the Contribs field, finding only documents that contain the Algol value. The argument must include the curly braces. At the end of the command, after closing the parentheses, type a period, followed by the letter P. This should launch the autocompletion pop-up, displaying a list of methods that contain the letter P. From the pop-up, select the pretty method and press Enter. This will display the results in a more readable format. Notice the semicolon has been added to the end of the command to tell MongoDB that the command ends at this point. Don't do anything else with your query at this time, we'll use it for the next exercise.